What's up? What's up, everybody? Truck Trucker coming at you here. We are here. We are down here in Miami. We have us another install video today. We have some United Pacific nine-inch double face lights. They are a good light bar. It's got amber on one side, red on the other side. So this will be used on my front bumper. We're gonna make them so that they're marker and blinker. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. For those of you who already subscribed, I appreciate y'all coming back for another video. For those of you who haven't subscribed, I want you to think about pressing that, that like button, the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you get notified anytime I come out new videos. Anyway, on this video, y'all, we're gonna install a nine inch light bar. These are some of the things that you will need to install this. We have us cordless drill, of course, with drill bits. I've got a level because I want thing make sure it is going straight up and down we got a, a magic marker to mark on the drill on the grill or bumper we have drill bits of course you need you a nice good crescent wrench for tightening the nuts on this and wire loom which i have plenty of that i got my shit for the wire loom in today so we've got that so what we're going to do we're actually going to measure on here find out exactly where we want it we're going to mark the holes that we're going to drill then have to drill through this i don't know how well we're going to be able to drill through this freaking chrome bumper but we're going to give it a try so oh man i hate to do it but let's get started y'all <laughs> all right everybody did give me a good fresh marker but i think i'm going to use this one here because this one is for my outside i forgot i had one one thing you want to do you want to test fit and see exactly where you want this at you want to make sure you're level but to be on the safe side let's grab a tape measure because you want to put it at the same distance exact same spot on both sides of the truck y'all now we also want to have it centered in the bumper now i'm kind of looking at it from here to here as being the center so one thing you can do here's the mark right here you can see the crease right here from crease to here it's 13 inches okay so that's six and a half inches okay so six and a half inches to center okay so now we're going to look at six and a half inches there's our center right there do 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 let's see that looks center right there so we're looking at the first hole because you know you want to put that six and a half inches in the center so your first hole we're looking at five and three eighths five and three eighths and seven and three eighths will be your centers or if we do it just a little bit on the high side we can just say five and a quarter seven and a quarter but yeah we're gonna do five and three eighths okay now for the fun part because as you can see the bumper here curves so you can't really go off a side measurement like this to get it so this is why you would have to use your level to make sure you're good okay now we'll come from here and you know we want it about this distance this distance away right here close to the edge so we've got it up here Okay, so you want to put your level on it. And try to make sure. Let's see. Stick it on that side there. Come on, you can do it.
Okay, so we get so that she's level. <laughs> now we get to five and three eighths, but we also want to make sure that we have it pushed too far out and we actually have, so let's slide it back a little bit. <laughs> Cause I don't want it where the bottom of it is sticking out down here. So I want to make sure it's in good. So we're good. Let's get this thing level again. Okay, so I'll go five and three eighths, which is right there. So you can work a five and three eighths line. And then we have a seven and three eighths line. Come on, stay straight. And a seven and three eighths line right there. Okay. Now that's just a rough guess, but now you can take it and actually line this up on your holes to see how that lines up. And as we can see, we're lining up good and dead center. So we know we're perfect right there. Now another thing you can do, you can measure that bottom hole or two and an eighth. Or we'll measure the top one here from the top one down, it's three and two and a half. So we're just gonna say two and a half top hole. It'll come off. So there's our mark, y'all. So now we have our measurements. Get your drill. We'll start out with a smaller bit. But then let's just throw this up here just to see how she looks. I think she looks great. Now let's see if we can get a pilot hole up in here. Somewhat straight, somewhat stable. And as you can see, she's trying to walk already. I wish I had a punch, but I do not. Well, actually this isn't as hard to drill through as I thought it would be. I actually thought it would be a lot harder to drill through y'all. Come on drill. Now that's wanting to walk, hold steady. I've got to probably take this back, this drill back to Lowe's and see if they'll exchange it because it keeps having issues. I've changed batteries and, and the light will blink and then it doesn't want to go. Yeah, that is actually not near as hard as I thought it would be to drill this through, y'all. I'm going, I'm, I'm, it's me. I ain't going to lie. Now, I personally like these bits. Gotta love these step bits, y'all. Ooh, that got a little warm. Got a little warm. I had to say, that thing actually cuts through that thing like hot butter, y'all. But I do not think it is long enough still or wide enough, so I'll have to use the bigger one. But I figured I'd start with this one just to see if it'll work. Oh, yes. Look at there. Good size. Now, question is, are my markings right?
See, and I also don't know which one is which, so I'll have to run the wires to find out exactly which side is amber and which side is red. Because of course, amber has to go to the front, red has to go to the back. And I won't know until I get the wire down here and test it. But this will at least be able to test the holes and see, and look at there, y'all. She lines up perfect. Just a little bit of wiggle room in there, but when I tighten the bolts, we will be good to go. And now we'll put a level on it. And if y'all, if you look at the level, there we go. We can set it right there, tighten the bolts down, and she will be right on the money. All right, y'all, we're going to get this side, and then we're going to get the other side done, and then we'll come back and we'll show you the wiring. All right, everybody, I've got this one figured out. I know exactly which direction to face them in. I thought about it. Hey, here we go. We have my battery box right here. We know the white's always the ground, so we're looking at one of these lights here. We'll just tap it up against that right there. We'll put the black on the positive. And as we can see here, we have red on this side. Well, a little harder. See, here we go. Come on, y'all. Okay, well, that's just oh, that side light. So, yeah. So, we have red on this side, so we know this is the back. So, it's going on that side. So, we flip it this way so it comes in. Amber will be on this side, red will be on this side. So, now we can come over here. Yeah, we set her up, run the cables through, or the wires through, run the wires through. So we know amber and we know red. All right, pop the hood open here. All right, we'll pick up our bolt package. Flat washer, lock washer, nut. Run those through, run these through. See, now you could always push that side out a little bit to make it level, but I would rather, if it's angled, it's angled, then to stick it out so that it looks like that. I'd rather not. I mean, I'd rather, I mean, the bumper has a little slight curve. As you can see, it bends a little bit. So I'm not really gonna worry about that too much. I'd rather it be leaning just a little bit than to see that gap in between there. I don't want, I don't, I don't know. That's just, to me, that's more cosmetically ugly to see the, a big old gap in between it being flush mounted on there. And of course, on my Coronada, I have more tools, more everything. So I've got copper base anti seized and everything, and I don't have all that. On this truck so you know i just do what i do just get you a big freaking crescent wrench tighten these nice and tight because you can't use a socket because you've got the wires that run through them do you want to make sure these bad boys are tight 
But yeah, this bumper was not as hard to drill through as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot harder to drill through. My Coronado bumper was insane to drill through. <laughs> Where this one here is not so bad to drill through. I have to, have to be honest, I was, as they say, I was pleasantly surprised. I will have to admit, I was pleasantly surprised. Give that a spin. Get the bottom set of wires. Flat washer, lock washer, nut. And generally with the lock washers on here, you don't have to worry about a jam nut. Um, but it is a good idea to keep an eye on these every so often, you know, when you do your pre-trip, just check and see if it looks like they're coming loose. If they are, you know, hey, grab your freaking wrench and tighten them up. Nice and tight. And there we go. We have a set. They are mounted. Now we get our thing. We'll pull these out. Actually, we may not need. Well, yeah, we'll pull these out because I've got the wires. May not need to. There we go. Because I got my wires tied up in here. We've got our wire loom. So we will run our wire loom and tie wrap everything up to these. So Give me just a second, I'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, we got our wire loom here. So, we'll pull our wire up a little bit. We'll go ahead, wrap a little tape around the wire first. Doo-dah, doo-dah, I know, it's a, not the best ideal thing you hear. All right, then we'll slap that on there like so. Slap some of the wire in. Now that she's in here. Now we'll just run the tape around it and that keeps it from sliding down. Keeps it from coming off, keeps it from running away, however you want to call it. And from there, we can just take and wiggle her with it being held up at that end by the tape. You can just run your wire in here like so. Push her in good and tight. Come on. Okay, now when we get to this end, we're not gonna worry about going any, really any further than that because we're gonna have those. So, but we will cut it to about right here. So, okay. So we'll just go ahead and slap this in here for now. And now we'll run it. We know we're gonna push it down through here. So you look down through there. We'll run it through. And we know we're gonna tie wrap it to all of these. We know we're gonna send that bad boy right on down through here. We're just gonna go ahead and we'll send it through the section here. That way we can Have things to tie wrap it to. <clears throat> Same thing here. Or better yet, we'll just run it this way. That way, we'll run it straight up this. We'll just tie wrap it straight to this and we'll run our wires straight up to here. So we, we know we're good right here and we've got plenty of slack 
that we can tie wrap it and bring it up in there with so now we can pull our wires out get your strippers we know that's ground that one's blinker that one's marker and these are never stripped long enough I mean I guess if you're just gonna throw a little butt connector or something on them I guess that's good enough but if you're actually gonna solder heat shrink you actually won't want some room to stretch and twist the wires together so make sure you've got plenty okay so take your blacks together take your two whites together twist them together Get your two reds together. Now we get our solder heat shrinks. And I know some people may wonder why when I go to use the solder heat shrink connectors, why I always look at the two ends of the, of the connector, because this one end is always smaller than the other. And that's because you'll take your smaller end and push it through where you've just got the one wire going through, because your other side is gonna be the thicker one because you've got more wires going through. So then you just take and you twist these two together like so <laughs> then you pull that through because see you've got more wires through here to the thicker end then we'll solder heat shrink that together get us another one look for the smaller end <laughs> run our small end through the white through there <laughs> get our other white <laughs> we twist these together <laughs> that way they don't come apart <laughs> then you put it so that the solder is in the middle of the two ends that way when you go to solder it, it it melts and covers all the wires and bonds them all together and we grab this one here we twist all these together and now this is something i suggest before you heat shrink those test the lights <laughs> we put on the lights as y'all can see we have red on this side we have amber on that side now we'll turn on the flashers same thing as the blinker and look at there we've got a blink now let's double check this side here and she's blinking on that side now we know we can solder these wires together Oh, y'all know what I did? Oh, okay, I'm good. I just got the wire. We'll just have to run it up like that. Or we can run it up. No, because we want it underneath it. Yeah, we'll just tape it like this and have it come across like that. It'll all be good, because I'm not redoing it. <laughs> Plus it gives it more wiggle room. Then you just take, take your heat gun, point your heat gun on it, takes it a second to get nice and warm. Then you should see the solder starting to melt.
there we go as you can see it's starting to spread around now we just hit the ends here get the ends over here nice and sealed Put it underneath here so you can maybe see. But I love this battery cobalt heat gun. This is so much better. I had the electric heat guns and I was always having to run an extension cord out there. You got to worry about the APU and extension cord was always, you know, out there getting, you know, dirty and freaking wet in the ground and everything else. This is just so much better and so much easier to contain. I mean, you know, when the battery gets died, you just hit a new one. All right, there we go. Now we've got them soldered heat shrink because you got your heat shrink here with your little waterproof sealant on the inside. So all your connections are watertight. You don't have to freaking worry about them. Nice and sealed. So we can take this throw this bad boy up in here a little bit let me go get some electrical tape because we're going to tape those up and then we'll show you all the final product y'all i said you better watch what you're doing because i ain't gonna stop when i'm moving i'm headed to the top i'ma do it i'm headed to the top i'ma prove it and baby girl i like what you're doing your body's out of sight when you're moving you look just like my type so let's do it you know I'll treat you right, let me prove it And I could go all night I'm sick of being nothing All right, I'm gonna be something All fight with every breath, trust me I'ma be the one at the top, you can't touch me I need to find somebody like me Who wants to be something I bleed with every word coming I would rather die than be someone who's nothing I'm the type of dude who will not remain nameless I'm the type of dude who is headed for greatness I'm the type of dude who could really make changes Cause I'm the type of dude that's becoming contagious I'm the type of dude that will always be ageless I'm the type of dude that will always feel shameless I'm the type of dude that they say is fucking heinous Cause I'm the type of dude that you know is fucking dangerous Take it now, no, you're never gonna break me I'ma stay loud in the face of the hate See, I'ma speak out, take the muzzle off my face Breathe out of my mouth every word that will make me Never had a doubt of the life that I'm making Never had a doubt of the fight I'll be facing Never had a doubt of the nights I'll be aching Life is all about having you don't want to chase with me now I'll leave your ass in the street now I'll put your ass underneath ground I'll bury you six feet deep now And you better stay down Get the hell out of my way now It doesn't matter what you say now I'm gonna take hold of fate now I'm the type of dude who will not remain nameless I'm the type of dude who is headed for greatness I'm the type of dude who could really make changes Cause I'm the